Greensboro, where mostly clear skies are overhead, 63 degrees. You're one of the cool spots across central North Carolina. Not bad at all. Looking good from Carter Finley Stadium. Just a little bit of light on the horizon as we're almost exactly one hour away from sunrise. 67 degrees, the temperature there. It's a couple degrees warmer officially in the triangle. 69 degrees in Raleigh, but 67 in Durham, 66 Chapel Hill. Plenty of mid 60s on the map. The warm spots are just below 70 degrees, but that's just below average. The normal low is 70. So anything below that is bonus territory in late July. Temperatures are very similar around Cumberland County. Just a few spots in the low 70s. 72 Spring Lake, 70 in Hope County and Rayford, and 73 degrees are warm spot in Grays Creek. If you want to get out for a walk, a run, anything outdoors, now is the time of day to do it before we heat up. Cooper does not seem to be in that frame of mind. Thank you to Cooper's human Joey for sharing that picture with us. Love those pictures of just lazy pups. Temperatures are going to heat up. So this afternoon, exercise caution. The humidity is not going to be too bad yet, so we don't really have to worry about the heat index, but air temperatures in the low 90s are a little too hot for your furry friends. So again, get out early this morning or wait until the sun is lower on the horizon this evening. That helps to reduce at least the pavement temperature that you have to contend with. We will warm up. Temperatures back into the low 90s today, but we'll have to climb to that level. Upper 80s by noon, especially far the south of the triangle, and then into the low 90s in most locations this afternoon. That's a couple degrees above average, but again, that tolerable humidity does make a difference. If you have to mow the lawn, or in my case, get out there with a tractor and harvest the lawn, today and tomorrow, maybe even to Wednesday, are going to be the decent days to do it. Yeah, it's going to be hot, but the humidity is going to be at least acceptable today. It starts climbing tomorrow. It'll be back on Wednesday, but just a slight chance of rain Wednesday. Don't put it off until Thursday and Friday, because that's when a good chance of showers and thunderstorms is back in the forecast. We do have a little something to take a look at in the tropics as well. Zooming out to our southeast, way to our southeast, into the eastern Caribbean. This little swirl of clouds here doesn't have a high chance of developing over the next five days. 20% is the estimate from the National Hurricane Center, but we're going to keep an eye on it as it tracks near Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic could eventually approach the east coast of Florida by late this week. But again, the odds of actually developing into even a tropical depression, only 20%. We will keep you updated. Look at the seven-day forecast. Plenty of heat for us around here and increasing humidity. Maybe not quite up to tropical levels just yet on Wednesday, but enough for a pop-up storm or two. And then showers and storms are back in the forecast Thursday and Friday, even lingering into the weekend, which knocks our temperatures down into the 80s, but have an indoor alternative for any outdoor plans this weekend. 521 on the